Hi, everyone. Um, it's nice to see all the old brownstone faces on Zoom. So I hope there'll be more Zoom. <laughs> and that this Next is, this yeah, I'll make the announcement. Good, good, great. So um, I'm going to read one from. Um, sorry, I thought I had the page and I didn't have the page. Uh, from this, um, Dead Shark on the End Train, my new book, and I put in the chat uh, a, um, the uh, Zoom link. The uh, publisher is having the official launch next Saturday at 4, if you feel like coming, and there's three other poets also being launched by Broadstone at the same time. Oh, you might know Philip Brady and Michael Joyce and Mervyn Taylor, so we're all going to launch on Saturday. So this is for no good reason. I get drunk and drop a glass, one of the pretty ones, onto the dining room table, our meal getting cold while you wipe off slivers from wet oak with a congeal of paper towels. It's you who lay claim to a problem, and after tonight, you are not drinking anymore except on weekends. I've heard that before. Earlier, Monsanto was on TV again. They've been messing up another town, carelessly spilling chemicals over more than well-set tables and the rug, clam sauce, its flavor gone. Well, what else is new? Our dogs have decided to hide under our leggy couch, and I don't blame them for lying low. Dogs can sense earthquakes, tornadoes, toxic spills long before we can. I should have stopped after the first glass, I say, as if this were deeply insightful, as if it were your fault, not stopping me. No telling what we're both exposed to here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Susanna. Okay, uh, here's the order. Next people, Beth Adelman. I want to say hello to uh, my niece, Carmel Curtis. Uh, Miriam Stanley and Stanley Baumblatt, Elizabeth Kaplan and Anita Cook, and then Roxy and I will end this off. Okay. So, Beth? Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I was going to read something else, but after Matthew talked about how close we were to fascism, and I agree with him, I felt that I had to go in a little different direction. Okay. I love Rodgers and Hammerstein. What that has to do with this sounds weird, but I did. And there's a song that I absolutely loved as a little girl from South Pacific where they talked about, uh, you've got to be taught to hate and to fear. Mm. You've got to be taught to hate and fear. Is, right? I see some heads nodding, right? But hate is an unnatural state. We are all God's children, and this is our time. Conceived in love, in love we best shine. When I was a little girl, my father said to me, if one person in the world is not free, then no one can be. So we marched. We marched arm in arm in the Alabama sun. We marched singing, we shall overcome. We marched for women. We marched for men. We marched for gays for fathers and mothers. And then we elected a president who looked like no other, singing, we shall overcome. Some of us thought we had actually won. But we did not realize that hate can hibernate. And when the orange man spewed his fear and the age old garbage reappeared, tiki torches and more, we realized our White House is occupied by a media whore. So the only thing I have to say on a positive note is please, please get out and vote. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Miriam, Miriam Stanley. You hear me? Yes. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Okay, um, I'll do a poem. I should start? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is called The Privilege of Power. Is now this, four cops, 
three male, one female, standing around Union Square East. Their vehicles shiny and bright as the banana seat bicycles we rode when children. Four buddies in tight, four-cornered conversation, without masks, without social distancing, shooting the breeze when air carries COVID. I don't know what to say, how to approach as a healthcare worker once arrested and locked up in 2012. Scooped in orange netting during a peaceful protest for blocking the sidewalk in front of an empty closed courthouse. Now I take their picture on my cell phone from 20 feet away. What charges can they bring? I stand alone. I block nothing. Post the photo on Facebook. Yes, I know they don't care. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam. Okay, Stanley Baum. Baumblatt, not here. Uh, let's see. Elizabeth Kaplan, Kaplan, not here. Anita Cook. Anita, not here? Okay, so it's down to Roxy and me. Roxy? Roxanne? Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, thank you. Hang on. And then I'll end it off and I'll just give like the last whatever. Okay. So I'm going to read an old poem, and uh, this is uh, this was in a book called Chopin and Cherries, and it's a letter to George Sand from Chopin after he um, after they broke up. Gee, I tell my piano the things I used to tell you: pull back its fall board after propping up its lid, stroke it sturdy trusses. Hear its strings vibrate in sympathy, undampered escapement permits. As my fingers depress and release its keys to unlock unsaid thoughts, the music I dream, its solid back frame understands the balanced tension of romance, the give and take of the player and the played, the rhythm of two heartbeats even at rest, the somber melody of disharmony, we of equal temperament speak at length, practice our arpeggios and scales, regulate our voices, and play Mozart in your absence, F. Thank you, Roxy, and I'll end this. One of my music poems, I put a spell on you. I was listening to Nina Simone the other day, uh. last week, I should say. Red and gold leaves crushed under my boots. On my iPhone, Nina Simone sang, I put a spell on you. Halloween was in the air, and during the full moon, witchy thoughts would take flight. The law of attraction needed assistance. Red candles anointed with rose oil cinnamon, rosemary, and poppy seeds, worked up a heated spell, invoked what lived under lock and key. I made a vow to love and honor, asked the goddess to send you my way. You did come and I was first in line, but someone else walked ahead of me. Love wrapped me in a blindfold, kept me in denial for a week. I confronted you and her, but the goddess favored her over me. My feelings became waxen tears and ash. Red and gold leaves crushed under my boots. On my iPhone, Nina Simone sang, I put a spell on you. November's fierce wind persisted. Emotions became icicle tears on the lock and key. Invoked the approaching December storm to cover a graveyard of dried leaves. Thank you. You can unmute. Unmute yourselves, everybody. 
Thank you, everybody. Uh, I want to th- uh, give a, brown, uh, a big brownstone shout out to Sarah Sarai. Yay! Yay! Austin. Yay! 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 And Yay! open micers. And I have to say, <laughs> Brooklyn, I can't say Park Plaza anymore, but uh, Roxy, Matthew thank Huber. you, the Zoom Mass Meister. And <laughs> next Huber. month, we're going to go back to Saturdays. Uh, we sat because because of the holidays. We're going to do it on Saturday, November twenty first, from two to four. We're going to have Mega Sood reading, Joshua Corwin, Chad Parento, and of course the Open, of course, three minutes or less.